Hi everyone. So Hair Bear was back. Grey cat. Hi Poppers. Come on Fergus. And here comes Fergus down the hill along the path. And Boffers was back. The only one that didn't come in was Smudge. She was still up on the ridge. So the eight that became three was now back to seven. Jasper was up a tree. Like I say, they're always great fun on the way back. As the walks come into the end, it's almost as though they don't want it to come to the end. And uh, we'll have one, one last fling. Jasper loves getting involved. Whether it's coming for a walk sort of up through the forest with me and Harry or all of his friends around him. The cats that I've got and the cats that I know aren't lone solitary cats that are at home with their own company. I mean all my cats in the garden they play together I take Harry out for a walk and they appear out of, from everywhere from all directions and they all play together alright they have the odd argument as well but I think they get bored on their own and when there's anything new that's going on like me I, over on the field or over on, going up the mountain they all come running because they want to be involved it's something different for them it's something interesting for them when I read about cats uh, oh, lone solitary animals that prefer their own company, like their own company. <laughs> I'd have to disagree with it. <laughs> and blind cats don't let them outside unless it's a, a protected area I can understand that that makes sense but if you're with them they can be outside I mean I can't leave Harry unattended that's impossible he's off he has to be watched the whole time but Kira Momos William Dipper I'm more comfortable with them being out in the garden than I am with him
Come on, Harry. Good morning, Harry. Good morning. When I look at Harry with the other cats, there's no him and us or them and us with the blind cats. They're all friends. They all play together. He's accepted. They're all accepted. <laughs> Trades paws with Grey Cat. I mean, Grey Cat could send him flying, but he never does. They're all such great friends together. We were out today, just me and Harry, and uh, there was a cat over in the field, not one of mine. It was young, playful, it was well looked after, and Harry did not want to know. There was hissing and growling from Harry not from this other cat and Harry just sat there didn't want to play didn't want to get involved didn't want to do anything so eventually I picked him up brought him home put him in the garden and he played with Dipper and William and he was happy again our walk was nearly over this was the last burst when Fergus and I think Boffers went up the tree. But going out of a morning is a fixture now. They wait for me to go and then they all appear. So you'll be seeing more of it. Hopefully I'll get William out and Dipper. And Kira, she wanted to come out this morning. I couldn't get her out. So I hope you've all enjoyed the long walk and the play for late. And as usual, we will catch up with you all again very soon. Well,